Hi everyone and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to look at our next motivation theory and that is Hertzberg's two-factor theory. So, Hertzberg, remember, first of all, remember Maslow had uh, five levels. Hertzberg has two groups in his theory. And what he calls them is hygiene and motivation. So they're the two factors, hygiene factors and motivation factors. Now, first of all, look at hygiene. They're factors, they refer to the features of a work environment, the actual conditions, rather than the actual type of work. So it's important to note that hygiene factors are not motivators, but they need to be present to ensure that no dissatisfaction exists. So if they're not there by not providing them, they will actually lead to dissatisfaction. So if they're not there, employees will be dissatisfied and have no chance of being motivated. Whereas if they are there, they will not be motivated, it doesn't provide motivation for them, but it makes sure that they're at sort of like a neutral level and they won't be dissatisfied. So these are some of the hygiene factors. So pay, job security, working conditions, relationships, and the types of rules and policies. Now, some of those were motivators under Maslow's theory. Remember pay, job security, they were, and relationships, they were all um, actual motivators in Maslow's theory. But according to Hertzberg, they don't provide any motivation. They need to be present, yes, they need to be provided in the workplace, um, but they don't provide any motivation. They just ensure that an employee is not dissatisfied. The motivators, on the other hand, do provide uh, motivation. So motivators allow employees to feel satisfied at work, and Hertzberg identifies these type of things as the key motivators. Achievement, recognition, more responsibility at work, the type of work, so that means challenging work, career advancement, etc. those kind of things. Now, if you look at those, those areas there, we've seen them before. They are in Maslow's theory. They're Maslow's higher order of needs, so like his self-esteem and self-actualization. So essentially, one of the similarities between Hertzberg and Maslow is that um, the factors in the theory are quite similar. And in fact, a lot, often of them are the same. Uh, a lot of them are the same, I should say. But Hertzberg says that some of those things, which are sort of Maslow's lower order of needs, don't provide motivation. Whereas the higher order of needs, the achievement, recognition, responsibility, career advancement, those type of things, they're the real things that provide motivation. So it's important that this theory reminds managers that some factors, such as pay, job security, which may seem positive, and they are positive, they actually have very little impact on motivation or satisfaction. And in order to increase motivation over the long term, HR managers need to focus on um, the more longer term aspects such as getting employees to achieve, uh, giving them recognition, telling them it's good work or you know, re rewards, uh, giving them responsibility, allowing them, giving, giving them challenging work, allowing them to, you know, giving them promotions and career advancement, uh, those kind of opportunities. So that's important and it's a key difference uh, between the theory we learned earlier. So just to recap, this, I think this diagram recaps it really well. So the hygiene factors on the left there, your salary, company policies, um, relationships, job security, types of working conditions, work-life balance, all those positive things, and they are positive. Um, they need to be there, but they don't actually provide any motivation. They just get an employee to a neutral uh, state where they prevent dissatisfaction and just a general satisfaction, whereas if they want to, if an employer wants to motivate their employees, they need to give recognition, responsibility, promotions, uh, career advancement, sense of personal achievement. Those are the things that result in high motivation. So they both need to be present, but it's just important that those hygiene factors, according to Hertzberg's theory, don't provide motivation, whereas the motivating fact or the motivator factors actually do. For more videos, practice sacks, go to teachingbubble.com.